in three. Destiny Smith Barmetta had a nice uh, early round race. Richardson in four after that 10.75, and she'll go up against former USC standout TT Terry in lane five. Javion Oliver in six. Baylark out of Arkansas in lane seven. And Melissa Jefferson, US champion from a year ago. You always right. forget about that. She is getting the draw in lane number eight. So Richardson and Terry in four and five trained together under coach Dennis Mitchell, who I saw in between the heats after the 10.75, and I said, Okay, clearly whatever you guys are working on with her start, Shakari's start is working because she had, I want to say the best start I've ever seen her have in the heat. If she has another start like that, we are guaranteed a 10-7 here. The question is, will the win stay legal? And this main grandstand, it is packed. Everyone is on their, on feet, their feet and they're all staring at lane number four. Shakari Richardson, middle of the track in the women's 100 meters. <laughs> See if she can replicate that fast start she had. It looks like she's well on her way, on her toes now, and beginning to emerge from the field. Now it's all about time. She's celebrating a step before. Whoa. And it's windy, Whoa. but windy fast. 10, Whoa. 57. Okay. We told you that she looked good in the heats with that 10.75, but 10.57, I don't care what the wind is. You just saw a woman run 10.57 seconds for 100 meters we will get the conversion for you momentarily so that you know what that is like with a legal wind but look 1057 for shakari richardson twanisha terry up for second she ran 1083 so all conditions that'll be number four all time so only three women, three times in history in the 100 under any conditions are faster than what you just saw. So it looks like Shakari Richardson is back. And Paul, we were talking about this off air. What she has to do now is to prove that she can get to U.S. Nationals and make the team. We know that she had the, the issue with the Olympics, but apart from that, she has not performed well at trials. In 2019, she's the NCAA champion, the world leader. She goes there, and it doesn't happen for her. So maybe this will be the year that we see Shakari have a full season because that was impressive. 10.57. Again, the wind very much over the allowable at 4.1. And we're going to convert that for you so that you... Uh, just get a sense of just how fast that is in case 1057 doesn't impress you enough. Well, what was impressive about that as well is she was celebrating a step or two yes, from the was. line. So she and you know saw that celebration in Austin a week ago when she sustained that speed and that four by 100. I think she's feeling the confidence starting to build. And you remember, I told you after watching that anchor leg at the Texas Relay, I said, she looks like she's back because she was closing down on everybody else and holding off Gabby Thomas, who had won the 100 in that race. So just doing the conversion now, 10.57. And here's another look at it. How far away from the line did she start celebrating? Eh, maybe about five, five meters. But here, as my coach always told me, if you're doing it at five, you're thinking about it at 10. <laughs> so what an impressive run as we get ready now for the men's heats excuse me, the men's finals, both